Well, we're into 2018. Can you believe it? I really can't. 2017 went by so quickly. But this is our first break of 2018. And we've got three products coming up tonight. Full case of 2017-18 Absolute Basketball. A full case of 2017 Bowman's Best. And a full case of 2017 Optic Football. So we multi-sport breaking tonight. And I'm hoping we're going to have some good New Year's luck and get the year uh, started off right here with some big hits. Before we take a look at uh, the individual breaks, here's a list of what's coming up on eBay that is already listed. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me that along the way, and sometimes I don't remember to, well, I just don't remember because <laughs> I'll have stuff scheduled. I can't remember if it started yet, if it hasn't, whatever. So I'm going to try to do this uh, every night before we start going forward so that you guys have an idea of what's coming up. So you can see we've got uh, contenders, some more absolute basketball, some Bowman's best baseball. We've got some uh, one box breaks coming up again, starting to cycle those back through and uh, also some prism basketball towards the end of the week. So that's what we've got going there. Still working on this, um, waiting on, I think, one invoice to be paid out. And when that is paid, the remaining teams, I'm going to start listing on eBay as a buy it now or best offer on a one day type auction uh, for anything that you guys don't want. And hopefully we'll get those sold pretty soon. I'll send everybody an email when it's time to break. I would like to get that uh, get this broken sometime this week. It's a 32 box four inner case break of 2017-18 totally certified basketball. As you can see, all the teams are fixed price. Shipping is included in the price. Uh, any team that has a name next to it, that means that team is spoken for and gone. Anything that you see with a, obviously the team and the price and no username next to it, that team is available. So if you would like one of those teams in that break, please let me know. Once again, four case break. So you know, some of these you're looking at 30 bucks with shipping included. You're talking about less than $10 a case. And that's a pretty darn good deal, in my opinion. But anyway, there you have it. So let's roll into first up tonight. It is 10 boxes of 2017-18 Panini Absolute Basketball. It's a full case break. This is the second time we've broken it. And uh, with the new configuration of Absolute, it doesn't take a terribly long time to get through this one. So our eBay end date was tonight, January 1st, 2018. Live stream schedule was tonight, is tonight, January 1st, started at 8.30 Eastern. Team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. So you'll get a chance to refresh your memory here as to what teams you have in this break. And if you're here for one of the other breaks, immediately following Absolute Basketball will be Bowman's Best Baseball. And then following Bowman's Best Baseball will be Optic Football. I typically break this stuff. Oh, I forgot to change the focus. I typically break this stuff in the order that it ends on eBay. So just FYI. Most of you know that already, but a few of you might not. So you're going to see the background go out of focus here. That is by design. I am, uh, I don't like, actually it might need to be a just, uh, might be a tad bit change there. I don't like having all the zooming in and out. And I don't like having to look at the cards really far away. So I, I change that focus all the time. And I used to just do it and not say anything. But then sometimes people would think they're, device was out of focus or something so I don't know I just say it now hi John I just now looked over into chat sorry I didn't have my iPad on uh, the right page to show me chat because I apparently am uh, struggling with my iPad tonight <laughs> so so I just now saw your question um, but Bowman's best is going to be right after absolute and absolute's a pretty quick break relatively speaking considering it's a case so I would say probably 20 30 minutes from now something like that give or take 10 minutes the part that takes the longest with absolute well really the part that takes the longest with all of this stuff 
is just getting it out of the packaging. But Absolute does not have very many cards in it at all this year, so it is a relatively quick break. I wouldn't wander too far off if you're here for Absolute. Now, if you're here for Optic Football, um, you've probably got, I'm going to say it somewhere between an hour and 15 and an hour and 30 minutes, and that, of course, is an estimate of when we will arrive at Optic, but I think that's a, a reasonably good guess. Hi, Aaron. Happy New Year to you as well. And of course, yes, good luck to everybody. I'm really, uh, I'm, I feel like we're going to, I feel like we're going to have a pretty good night tonight. We're going to get the year started off well and, uh, come up with some fire somewhere along the way tonight, I think, I hope. And as far as shipping on this, on this stuff goes, um, this is Monday night, so I'm going to say probably, probably either Wednesday or Thursday, everything that we're opening tonight should ship out the door to you. Now, of course, um, I do print the labels on from eBay, so they're supposed to send you an email notification when the label is printed. I think usually they do. Every once in a while they flake out and they don't, but most of the time they do. And it should also add the tracking number to the order details on eBay. Sometimes I print them the evening before they're going to be picked up. Sometimes I print them the day I'm, that I'm getting them there, but I don't ever print them more than any farther out than that. I mean, there are some people who do their breaks and they'll print their labels right away within, you know, 12 hours or 24 hours, but then they don't actually ship it for a week. And they do that stuff because you can get a, a better uh, seller rating and a discount and all kinds of stuff like that if you ship really fast. So they kind of freak, uh, not freak eBay out, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, fake, <laughs> fake eBay out, there you go. And make it look like they have shipped it when they really haven't. And that's not really my thing, that's not what I do. So typically when you see a shipping notification from me, you know that if it hasn't gone out that day, it's being printed to be picked up the next day. So that's kind of how that works course the new configuration of absolute if you haven't done one of these breaks yet um, I'm a big fan I really I, I like this new configuration of course there's too many boxes per master box and then each of our mini boxes has one encased card either a veteran or a rookie and then I did that the opposite and then the other one the other little pack in there is an autograph card and a memorabilia card. So, so it's all hits. It's either the uncirculated encased card or the autograph or memorabilia card. Which I think, I think, I haven't looked at any of the prices yet because I figure a lot of people probably are getting this from breaks and obviously it just came out on Friday and we didn't have any mail on Monday today for the holiday so a lot of people probably haven't received their stuff yet to have a chance to list it so I haven't really looked at pricing but I expect that some of these uncirculated cards particularly for the rookies might be at a decent little clip I don't know I mean you figure they should be in pretty good shape consider considering they come in a one touch and they're uncirculated I will say I have noticed, though, they're not always perfect, even inside that case. Because I was uh, I was working on shipping some of this, and I thought, you know, I'm really going to take a good look at the edges and corners of some of this. Obviously, I'm not taking it out of the out of the one touch, but you can clearly you can see in it. And I did notice a few of them still had some imperfections, so. 
uncirculated doesn't still mean it's going to come out in grade 10, but nonetheless, I'm still happy with the way they've reconfigured it. I think it's better, more value for the money. But of course, the prices will ultimately tell the story. So, see how the resale does, I guess, on the uncirculated cards. Now, last time we broke this, which was Friday night, the night it came out, we did have one, maybe one or two teams that didn't pull anything. And I was surprised because you would think that everybody would get something, but there were a couple teams that pulled nothing. If that happens to you, I'm still going to send you something. So hopefully it's not going to happen to anybody. But on the, on the off chance that we do have that come up tonight, I will still send you something. So let's take a look first at our uncirculated. Uh, we'll have equally split rookies and veterans. So first out for the Lakers, uh, Caldwell Pope. For the Suns, Jackson, Jarrett Allen for the Nets, Ananobi, Raptors, Dwayne Bacon for the Hornets, Draymond Green for the Warriors, Kyle Lowry, Raptors, Hey, a little Ben Simmons. I didn't pull him out of the last case, um, but here he is in this case. Devin Booker. Didn't see him in the last case either for the Suns, at least not that I remember. Jordan Bell for the Warriors. Dirk Nowitzki, Mavericks. Paul Millsap, Nuggets. DJ Wilson for the Bucks. Rab for the Grizzlies. Another Devin Booker for the Suns. So I guess we're making up for the fact that uh, I don't think I pulled him out of the last case. And we're going to pull two of him out of this case. I'm going to slide some of those over a little bit. Brooke Lopez, Lakers. John Collins for the Hawks. Frank Nitkalina for the Knicks. Jason Tatum, there he is, for the Celtics. And Gordon Hayward for the Celtics. And again, those are the only, quote, base cards that exist for Absolute this year are the ones that come uncirculated, slabbed in the one touch like what we just saw. So it's not a, not a, uh, not a set with a lot of cards in it. I think it's maybe a 100-card veteran set and 65-card uh, rookie set or something. Does that sound right? It's enough that you're not going to pull the absolute same player every time, but it's not so much that it would be impossible to collect them all. And so far, well, I say so far, we've only broken the one case because it came out Friday night and I didn't... Uh, break it. I thought I had it scheduled to break over the weekend, but then apparently I didn't. So, <laughs> so we didn't break it Saturday and I didn't break it all yesterday for New Year's Eve. So this is just our second time. But anyway, out of the first case, we had some very nice hits and hopefully that's going to be what we find again tonight. There will be one case hit in here of the glass uh, cards. It's always a redemption. And it's those etched crystal cards. If you haven't ever gotten one before, they're really very cool. I mean, they're super heavy, obviously. They're etched crystal. And they're a little bit bigger than a trading card, I think. Maybe they just seem bigger because I've never taken them out of their one touch. But they're, um, they're pretty cool. And they usually have a decent resale value as well, so... If you get one and it's not your thing and you, you don't like that sort of thing, you should be able to, to sell it either as a redemption or wait and get it and sell it as the real deal. But 
I have a handful of them. They're pretty, pretty cool. Finally, everything's out. Now we can start taking a look at what we have. For the Brooklyn Nets, Jared Allen. And I need to get a few little sleeves out here. That, of course, tools of the trade, which I'm going to pick back up in just a second. I forgot to lay my forgot to lay my thick card sleeves out on the table before I started. So there's a sticker auto. Of course, you've got six uh, pieces of material there, a couple of them basketball, the rest of them fabric, and the Brooklyn Nets are off to a good start. Scotty Pippen to 49 for the Bulls on the game used uh, game worn material, which Scotty Pippen, I got the wrong sleeve. Scotty Pippen's always a nice pull. And then for the Cavaliers, numbered 299, we have a little Kyle Korver. For the Jazz, Rudy Gobert, Gobert to 199. That's our fabric hit. Piece of the basketball for Frank Mason and the Kings to 199. And most of these guys do have um, some edge wear. Uh, corners, edges, like you would expect to find. They're very seldom uh, are they what I would call perfect coming out in absolute, and that's the case again this year. This is numbered to 149 for the Pistons, the Luke Kennard sticker, auto, and trio of materials. There's a nice one for Terrence Ferguson, numbered to five. So, yeah, if you've got the Oklahoma City Thunder, there's a nice little hit. Number one of five, you see you've got part of uh, what looks like a tag there, piece of the basketball, nice three-color patch, uh, sticker auto, and overall in pretty good shape. You can see, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell with the, the dark colors of these, but there is a little spot of, uh, of wear maybe down there on one of those edges. But as a whole, that Terrence Ferguson's in pretty good shape. And number to five is always a happy thing. Zach Levine for the Bulls to what? Does that say to 199? Yeah, to 199. A little Donovan Mitchell. He is the man for the Jazz. Even LeBron James uh, was praising him after their game against one another this week. This is numbered to 75. You've got six materials, two of them basketball, four of them fabric, sticker auto. And a reasonably low number. You can definitely see, see that white kind of right there. So there's definitely some rough around that bottom edge, a little bit of chipping um, right in that area there. But overall, still a nice pull. For the Lakers, Josh Hart to 199, piece of the basketball. Another Jarrett Allen for the Nets. So you got a pair of... The, Tara Jared Allen's uh, first one was Tools of the Trade. This one is numbered to 99. John Collins for the Hawks to 199 in the rookie materials. And numbered to straight up 99 for the Rockets. How about a little CP3, Chris Paul? Frank Nitkalina, numbered to 99. Piece of the basketball and a sticker auto. I guess that's part of his, uh, it's part of his, the color on his jersey. I was just making sure that bottom corner wasn't chipped off. It's not. It's just part of his jersey. And anything that you pull tonight, if you want it in a one-touch case or anything, just uh, shoot me a message on eBay and let me know. I'm always happy to do that. It's just at my cost for the case and the PayPal fees to receive the money. Usually is about $3 a case. Um, if you're buying more than one, slightly less because I don't have to pay that flat rate transaction fee on, you know, on a single payment. I would just have to pay it once. So you'd save a little bit if you had multiples. That's to $1.99, Aaron Gordon for the Magic. Sprewell, wow, there's an old one. Uh, an, 
I shouldn't, it's obviously not an old card. You know what I mean. That's <laughs> a blast from the past. That's not one we would pull too often. And it's also numbered to five. So two of five uh, on the Latrell Spreewell for the Knicks. Numbered to 199, Kyle Korver. Materials for the Cavs. For the Heat, we have a little Justice Winslow, numbered to 25. Another nice low number. That one, I thought for a minute that was on card, but it's not. It's also a sticker auto, so yeah. Hi, John Reynolds. How are you, sir? I see you saying Happy New Year to everybody. Kawhi Leonard to, is that 104? Yeah, 104. That's really weird, but okay. Kawhi Leonard to 104. And his piece of the basketball looks kind of like roughed up, doesn't it? Oh, because it's game used. That's why. <laughs> that was like, everybody else's that we've seen looks real nice and shiny and bright and new. And his looks all roughed up. Yeah, that's because it's game used. That's why. Now that makes more sense, doesn't it? Another Frank Nitkalina, this one to 99, sticker auto trio of materials, one piece of the basketball, two fabric pieces. You definitely have a little uh, chipping in that white that you see down there in the lower corner. Of course, once again, there's some imperfection on the vast majority of these. Rodney Hood to 199 for the Jazz. Adrian Dantley, wow to 99 for the Jazz. They are really bringing out some uh, old school players in here, aren't they? Some of that's kind of fun though, right? And John Wall. Oh, love it. You're, this is our case hit, guys, of the glass insert. This is the etched crystal I was talking about. And uh, so our case hit for tonight is headed to the Wizards, John Wall. You know that we'll go to the checklist and verify that. But hey, John Wall is a wizard. We know that. That's a really nice looking patch, numbered to 25 for the Celtics on that rookie materials. Uh, big two color, part of something, a number, a logo, a letter, part of something anyway. And I don't say his name right, so I'm just going to let you look at it and imagine how it should be said, because I'm not going to get it right, for sure. Connie Hawkins. We are really rolling back in time tonight. This is numbered to 34 for the Suns. That's a pretty sweet little, uh, pretty sweet little hit, too. Harry Giles to 199 for the Kings. A redemption for, oh, boom, a redemption for Kobe Bryant, signature standout. Lakers, what a hit you just had. Lakers had a heck of a good run in the first case, too. DJ Wilson for the Bucks to 125. And yes, John, we will try to find you some luck for your Cubbies in Bowman's Best. We definitely will try that. Ben Wallace, numbered to 25 for the Pistons. For the Nuggets, we have numbered to 199, Wilson Chandler fabric. Sidney Moncrief to 99 for the Bucks. Here comes a little Lonzo for the Lakers who are already happy because they have their Kobe Bryant redemption. And to go along with it, how about Lonzo Ball, the 149 sticker auto tri uh, trio of materials, middle piece, of course, a little leather from the basketball. The other two are fabric. Derek Favors for the Jazz. You notice in that lower right corner, there's definitely some obvious chipping there. This is to 199. Malik Monk for the Hornets to 165. Piece of the basketball.
Justin Patton for the T-Wolves to 149. Sticker Auto Trio of Materials. Once again, one, one piece of leather, two pieces of fabric. To 199 for the Bulls. Denzel Valentine. Oh, Kings. There it is. There is your De'Aaron Fox. And it's a nice, uh, relatively low number to 75. If you can catch that there kind of on his elbow. And you've got, uh, of course, six pieces of uh, tools of the trade, if you will. And two of them are the basketball. Four of them are fabric pieces. It's a sticker auto. And I haven't pulled a ton of De'Aaron Fox out of really much of anything this year. I mean, he doesn't show up as much as some of the others do, at least not for me. So I think that's a nice little hit for the Kings. Dwayne Bacon, Hornets, and that is uh, lower right corner, lower, uh, sorry, right here. There's a little bit of chipping in the lower left corner, my left, anyway. That's to 199. Once again, sticker auto trio of materials. Another one whose name I struggle with. A Wendu, a Wendu, a Wendu. Yeah, well, Wesley. We're just going to go with Wesley. 199 for the magic. Nets are coming on strong here. They've already had a couple of hits, and here they are again with uh, the Carol to 99. And then it looks like the Nets are going to close us out with yet another hit. This one is Trevor Booker. And that is numbered to 199. And I see Mr. Waxpax needs some Braves, Red Sox, and Reds luck coming up uh, in Bowman's Best. So we'll see what we can translate for you on that. We'll see if we can't make that happen. We're going to recap this stuff, guys. Before we do that, I'm going to roll us over to the checklist. We're going to verify these two things. I mean, I think we can all agree it's going to be Wizards and Lakers, but... We're going to make 100% certain because that's just how I roll. So give me a hot second and I'm going to get us uh, both over to the right page where we can look this up. All right. And what was the, oh, let's see, what was the card set for Kobe? It was signature standouts. I want to see if that thing's numbered. It'll tell us in here if it is. Hopefully it will be. Oh yeah, it's going to be numbered. Oh, numbered to 15. Boom. Even better than I thought for the Lakers. Let's get this written on there. Like, I mean, obviously we know it's good. It's Kobe, etc. but to 15. Yeah, that's awesome. And then our glass insert, that is not going to be numbered, but it's, uh, as I say, it's a cool, it's a cool card. When you redeem it and get it, you'll like it, I think. And there it is, of course, showing the Wizards, which we kind of already knew, but now it is verified and we know for sure. And these are in sleeves, so I'm writing on the sleeve, not on the card itself. So we're going to recap this. Lakers, I did a terrible job writing that on there, but that's okay. We know what it is. Lakers numbered to 15 on the sweet little Kobe Bryant hit. For the Wizards, the glass insert the case hit is uh, John Wall for the Wizards. Let's actually, let's do our materials. And this time, guys, I'm only going to show you the front of the card as we go through because we've already looked at these from both sides uh, before now. But here's one thing you should just keep in mind. Most of these, as I've said, have some uh, wear along the edges and corners uh, to varying degrees, chipping and things. And I'm bringing that up again now because a lot of times people don't watch live. They watch delayed and then they kind of just fast forward till they get to this point, the recap point, And they just watch the recap and, hey, I do the same thing. If I'm in somebody's break and I don't watch it live, so so it bears repeating. And also, of course, people just tune in and out. You got other things going on and multitasking and watching sports and probably watching the kids and all kinds of other stuff. So, and to that end, if you missed me saying it earlier, I am expecting that this stuff that we are breaking here this Monday evening 
will probably get out the door on Wednesday. That is always give or take a day, but I expect that it will actually be in the hands of the post office on Wednesday, most likely. As soon as we finish this recap, we will be headed into Bowman's Best Baseball. That generally takes about an hour to do that break. So if you are here for optic football, it comes after Bowman's Best Baseball. So I'm guessing that somewhere about an hour from now, give or take uh, 10 minutes, we'll be starting on optic. But that's just to kind of uh, give everybody a little reminder. And if you're interested in that totally certified break, please let me know those teams. Uh, I'll throw that spreadsheet up again in a second. But those teams that are left, of course, it's all, it's a four case break, 32 box, four case break, a fixed price. So you choose your team and the price is a uh, one set price. It includes shipping and all the materials and supplies and all that jazz. And anything that I don't sell out directly uh, to you guys tonight or tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to start listing this stuff on eBay as a buy it now or best offer. It will have a higher price point on eBay, I can tell you that. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm going to wait till it goes up on eBay and then I'm going to pay less, it's actually the opposite because I'll have to pay eBay fees once it goes on there. And that always tax another 10% uh, on, so they will be... A higher uh, price on eBay than they are out directly. So let's take one more quick look at uh, those two little spreadsheet items and then we'll be on to our next break. So once again this is what I was just talking about the fixed price team for totally certified basketball and once again guys I mean the prices for this I know some of it you look at and you think wow $165 for the 76ers but when you break that up into a per case price, that's probably a little bit below the average selling price if you were to just go buy into a one case break four times, for instance. So if you want one of those, uh, shoot me a message on eBay and or let me know in chat. And again, quickly, here are our upcoming breaks uh, that will be happening later this week. And then that brings us back to right now which is eight times 2017 Bowman's Best Baseball. That is a full case break. It's break number six. And it, of course, ended tonight, January 1st, and we're live streaming it right after it ended, as we typically do. And team names on the left, winning bidders across from it on the right-hand side. We'll give you guys a chance to see your name in lights here and put one more little bit of uh, mojo out in the universe to see if we can find you what you're looking for and I am still going to tweak this a little bit something about this is bugging me tonight I don't know quite what it is I'm going to put it back into autofocus take it back out for a second so your eyes are not playing tricks on you I'm just tweaking the focus now of course this takes a while to get all this out of here because this is uh, too many boxes per master box and then each one of our mini boxes has packs in it that you have to open up and get the cards out of so it takes a few minutes to get everything out but it is pretty much always worth the wait moments best is awesome i love 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 this product many or most of you know that about me already so I always have plenty of it on hand when it comes out. So I know we've got some people looking for Cubs. We've had uh, a request for some, for some love for the Braves and the Red Sox and the Cincinnati Reds. And, oh, and Aaron's throwing it out there that we need a Cody Bellinger autograph. And Aaron, you are right. We do need a Cody Bellinger autograph because I have a little streak going okay every product that's had Bellinger autographs as an option that's as his rookie year this year which started uh, Allen and Genter if I'm remembering right was the first one 
he was a redemption in there. But that was the first 2017 product that he was possible to pull as a rookie autograph. So from starting with Allen and Ginter and going forward, every 2017 product that I've opened that had an option to pull a Cody Bellinger autograph, I've pulled it. But I haven't pulled it yet out of Bowman's Best. So Bowman's Best is trying to mess up my streak, but I don't think it's going to. Because besides this case that we're opening tonight, I've still got, oh, another three or four cases down there anyway. Maybe more than that. So I'm going to find it. I'm going to find it. <laughs> John says, after we pull his Chris Bryant and his Ian Happ autos, then we can pull uh, the Cody Bellinger auto for Aaron. That makes me laugh. <laughs> And guys, if you can't see chat and gals, uh, if you're watching this live and you hear me interacting and you can't figure out why in the world you can't see it, you have to be logged into YouTube from what I am told to be able to see and participate in the chat. Otherwise, if you type stuff in when you're not logged in, it just goes into like a comments area for the video and I don't even see those. It'll pop up and give me some notification about that later on and then it'll ask me to go and review it or something but, but that's about it so i don't really see those and i don't check email or ebay messages or any of that stuff when we are live breaking you guys get all of my attention 100 percent chat is the only thing i check so I've had that happen before, too, where people will be sending me messages uh, and thinking I'm seeing them in real time on eBay, but I am not. All right, so here we go. We had a very nice case of this uh, on, when did, was it Friday night? Saturday night. Whichever night we opened this most recently, maybe it was Saturday night. I don't know. Whichever night it was, we had a very nice case last out. Of course, then again, we typically have um, pretty good breaks with Bowman. Aaron on the Yankees. Uh, let me look at that spreadsheet. I'm not going to switch your view to it right now because once I have cards open and out on the table, I don't like to take the camera off of that. I don't think it's the right way to do it. Um, but the spreadsheet shows that Raiders 2010 Chin won the Yankees tonight. So that is, that is who I show with the Yankees this evening. And that's somebody else I haven't pulled uh, an autograph yet for out of Bowman's Best. I've pulled some inserts and some refractors and parallels and things like that, but not an autograph yet for... Aaron either and I've had good luck with him this year too oh and finest I mean we pulled so much nice Aaron Judge out of finest and we did out of uh, Gypsy Queen too although at that point in the year nobody was crazy Aaron Judge crazy at that point in fact one of the breaks, one of the earlier breaks of Gypsy Queen, I think we pulled a couple of judges out of the same break. And I remember talking to the guy who had them saying, you know, oh, yeah, I thought that was a good hit and blah, blah, blah. And he said, oh, yeah, I've got a ton of them already from other years of Bowman's, you know, before he his rookie stuff has come out and et cetera. And then later, a different person, not the person who had the Yankees, completely different person who was in the break was mad because that night my my second device I watch I have to have one device to execute the break where all the software and everything is I have a second device where I can watch the break and see chat and all that and it used to be my second device was a second laptop it's now an iPad but at that point in time it was a laptop and something happened to it I don't even remember what it was but something had happened to it, and I couldn't use it that night. So I couldn't see chat. I could do the break fine, 
but I couldn't interact and see chat very well. <laughs> so anyway, somebody sent me a message later and they were mad because they couldn't reach me in chat during the break, whatever. And he gave me just this huge lecture in, in his message from eBay about what I had said about Aaron Judge. She's like, you don't know anything about what you're doing, about baseball and about baseball players. You think that Aaron Judge is a good hit and that's a, I'll, the polite way of saying it is a load of crap, which is not at all what he said. He's quite awful. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it was uh, on and on like that. And so I think back to that often and I think I would love, of course I would never do this, but I would love to go back and send that guy a message long about now. Yeah, you still want to tell me who, who knows what cards are worth something and what cards aren't, buddy? <laughs> and mainly, most of the time, I'm not that way. I mean, I wouldn't have a deep burning desire to be like, haha, I told you so, or whatever. But that guy was so rude, so rude. And then he, I mean, and he would just go on and on several messages, not just a message repeated like a barrage of messages and then he had did under several different user ids in the same break two or three different user ids in one break and so then he goes back and leaves me negative feedback under all of his user ids for all because i couldn't see his comments in chat that night it was crazy So anyway, that's the Aaron Judge story. But it gave us something to talk about while we were getting packs open. So that's the main thing anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're going to find lots of base. We're going to roll through our base at a pretty good little clip. We'll stop and look, of course, at our hits and our inserts and things of that nature. And we'll find a bunch of those too. And our first autograph out is Tristan Lutz for the Brewers. And we're going to find lots of little refractors like that one that just went by. And you can tell they're refractors when you see that pretty little rainbow of colors. Second autograph hit is a uh, Haria. I never say it right. For the Brewers. Another refractor. This one, Brendan McKay for the Rays. So basically, I'm not going to call out every single refractor because I think that gets kind of redundant. But if you see that rainbow of colors you know that's just a base that there is a refractor coming out austin beck for the a's and of course we're also going to have um some inserts in here where the entire insert series like this one all the baseball americas they all refract all of these best cuts they're all going to refract so you're going to see lots and lots of those mixed in with our other stuff. Quentin Holmes for the Indians. And a little Brett Phillips there. After we look at cards, I take them and set them off to the right-hand side. There are mats over there as well, guys. So they always stay on a mat. That's what I use to sort, but it helps keep my work area clean. Little Tyler Glass now atomic refractor for the Pirates. About half the time I'm probably going to forget and call that cracked ice. Because that's what Panini calls that pattern. So if, when you hear me say cracked ice, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to break myself of that habit. But when you hear me say it, what I mean to say in top speak is atomic refractor. <laughs> Just so you know. Mitchell White for the Los Angeles Dodgers. So it's not going to be too long until we're going to be uh, pulling some Clint Frazier rookies right around the corner. So these mirror images, one is going to be a rookie or a prospect. The other is a uh, current player. I'm going to set all of those aside over there because what will happen is at the end of the break, I will take them, we'll put them in random and let random tell us whether the rookie side of the card is going to get it or whether the veteran side of the card is going to get it. This is Jay Groom to 99 for the Red Sox. 
and that's uh, really just I think the easiest way to do that because uh, there's a lot of those mirror images it's not like there's just one or two we're gonna find a bunch Trevor Rogers for the Marlins nice old Carlos Correa refractor that went by Mickey Moniak to 150 blue parallel for the Phillies Alex Reyes, he's everywhere. I pull so much Alex Reyes this year. Shane Baz for the Pirates. There's a little Ian Happ rookie refractor. Now, I know you're looking, of course, for an Ian Happ autograph, uh, which he is a redemption in here because we pulled him as a redemption the other day. Mr. Joey Votto for the Cincinnati Reds Atomic Refractor. But uh, anyway, hopefully Ian showing up early in the break is a good sign. Maybe that's going to conjure up the other Ian Haps, right? That's what we're looking for. Terrible try. Absolute did break already. Yes, sir. We are in... Bowman's best right now. Alex Bregman, raking rookies, atomic refractor for the Astros. We'll find a bunch of those raking rookies inserts typically, but we they aren't usually atomic refractors. They're typically just a standard refractor. But we'll see a fair amount of them. Here's a nice uh, little hit for the Yankees with Blake Rutherford Atomic Refractor. Nice little Aaron Judge Rookie Refractor. Buster Posey Atomic. You know, I kind of thought when I was first seeing those baseball, there's an Ian Happ breaking rookies. When I was first looking at those Baseball America, and you know how they all have a grade down there, I thought they would all be A's or A pluses, but no, they give some people A minus, like him, for instance, Ryan Mountcastle that just went by. Kevin Maytan to 250 in the purple parallel for the Braves. And why would you kind of, why would you do that? I just think that's kind of... I don't know. I was surprised that they gave some people a minus. I would think you would either give everybody an A or an A and an A plus or whatever, but they actually give out A minuses. That just struck me as funny. Derek Fisher for the Astros. And I didn't even notice it until this week when I was doing one of the sorts. I mean, this is what, like case six or something, and I didn't notice it until now, but I thought... <laughs> Oh, it's kind of funny, but they are giving out minuses on the trading cards. <laughs> but they do. So there you go. Now we know. Well, okay, I know Rutherford doesn't play for for the Yankees anymore. He got traded, but he's a Yankee on this card, so he has to you know, it's going to go to the Yankees, so I still have to say nice hit for the Yankees because he's on there as a Yankee. Austin Beck, Atomic Refractor for the A's. I mean, I know that's not fun when they get traded. Hank Aaron. But it depends, I guess, on what you're doing with it. If you're selling it, probably doesn't make any difference if you're collecting just because you like that team and you don't want to see anybody in a different uniform then yeah that's kind of a drag but you could probably still sell it ken griffey jr on um, one of our best cuts inserts that one is an atomic refractor we typically find two of those best cuts that are atomic refractors in a case we usually find one mirror image uh, atomic and one Baseball America Atomic. Armenteros for the A's. 
There's a Bellinger Rookie Refractor. Christian Aurora to 250 purple parallel for the Giants. Nice little uh, Eloy refractor for the Sox. Nate Pearson, Blue Jays. Oh, Cespedes. Nice Torres uh, best cuts for the Yankees. Mirror image Faria and Fulmer. Well, may as well set that Aaron Judge base over there too. Some of that stuff uh, obviously I set aside so that I can put it in sleeves later and not slow us down as much. Some of it I sleeve as we go. That's an, our second atomic refractor out of best cuts. That one is headed to the White Sox. Nice little Lewis Brinson out for the Brewers. This Bellinger, just a base rookie. Another Jimenez uh, best cuts. Ahmed Rosario. Nice little Jay Groom as well. Always like seeing Jay Groom go by. Somewhere in there, I thought I stacked another refractor by accident. Well, I'll find it later. That's all right. We'll find it when I sort. Ryan Healy raking rookies. Nice hit for the Braves with Acuna. Always good to pull Acuna. If you've got the Braves. Nick Senzel, best cuts. Mirror image, uh, Wright and Kluber. Followed by an Acuna refractor. So a couple of decent uh, Acunas right there together. Kyle Tucker to 50. Gold parallel for the Astros. Oh, Aaron, you opened a, a whole case uh, on your own and you didn't have very good luck with it? Like nothing in the case came out very good? I'm sorry to hear that, man. Tristan McKenzie for the Indians. Logan Warmoth for the Blue Jays. You pulled some Judge, but no Bellinger. Well, if you pulled some Judge, that's good. I mean, was it signed? Because that probably paid for your case if that, if it was. It's a nice little Joe Adele. And Randall is saying, has there been any good Cubs stuff in this break? Um, not yet. Not Cubs. I mean, Cubs hit... I think we had uh, an Ian Happ refractor and just a couple of little odds and ends, but I don't think we've had any Cubs signatures except for right now. Trevor Clifton, that's yours if you've got the Cubs. Victor Robles for the Nats refractor. Oh, none were signed. I got gotcha. you. Well, you can still do some stuff with your other Aaron Judge, Lindor and Rosario. Even when it's not signed, there's still some market for it. I'm sure you know that, but especially if it's numbered. For the Red Sox, this is going to be numbered to 99 because it's our green parallel. And this is Raniel. How do you say his last name, guys? Rods? Rodays? I'm not sure how, to, how which his name is pronounced. I have not not familiar with him, so... I don't know enough about that one to tell you one way or the other. All right, so that brings us to, that's our halfway point right there. So now we've got to go through 
the unfortunate task of taking everything out of boxes and packs again, which is going to take us a few minutes. So if you want a little snack break or a bathroom break or change the TV or whatever you got going on, you got a few minutes to do it here. Oh yeah, Randall, you did cut you you did you brought that cub to the forefront, right? <laughs> Aaron Aaron says he's a hoarder. Okay. <laughs> well, well that's alright then, man. There you don't have to sell them. You just hang on to them. I do not um I don't sell a lot of my cards. I sell some and actually I've I would like to sell a few more. I I just have to get off my rear to do it. Part of the reason I don't sell more of mine is I think it's very subjective as to the quality of the card. So I may say it's one thing, and then of course someone gets it, particularly on eBay, and if they say it's something else, then of course you got a whole host of problems there because then they either end up getting refunded and it turns into a whole thing or sometimes people will just say that it's something there's something wrong with it when when maybe there's not for various reasons but I've had people say that and then you say okay well you can return it and then they'll return you an empty envelope or <laughs> they'll return an envelope that just has some random cards of random people in it and not what you sent and things like that so because it's very subjective and open to interpretation I don't like to sell a lot of loose cards unless I have them graded and then I don't like to take all the time that it takes to get them graded because both the services are really slow right now. Nothing's coming back quickly. It doesn't even really come back in the time frame it's supposed to most of the time. So, I don't know. I don't sell a lot of mine either. But I need to because I'm really getting overrun. I mean, Card Mountain, I'm not kidding, guys. It is Card Mountain. It is an insane amount of cards around this place. Oh, Aaron, you want a couple of uh, teams in the Totally Certified? You just um, let me know what your eBay user ID is. And I will, from there, I should be able to get your email address from eBay records. Since you're in this break, I can match those up. And then I will send you um, a PayPal money request. Basically, I just log into PayPal, I use the email address you have associated with eBay, and I type in the notes what it's for, and then you pay the money request, and boom, we're, we're done. So, just let me know um, what teams you want to, of course. And in fact, when we, get, when we finish up with Bowman's desk, Aaron, if you hang out uh, until right after the recap, I will go ahead and put your username in there next to the teams that you want so that I, it reminds me to send you the money request and all that. And I'll send you an email when that, with the day and time that's going to break. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, I do have one or two open invoices that I'm waiting to get paid. And once those get paid, which I'm hoping will be tonight, or in the morning at the latest, then I'm going to take all the teams that are left and start listing them on eBay as in like one day auctions of buy it now or best offer until I get the rest of them sold. So. Randall, what, um, what problem did you have? I see you're, you've got uh, somebody's eBay user ID there in chat and you're saying that he scammed you out of something. What happened, Randall? What's going on with that? I don't like to hear of anybody getting scammed, obviously. I personally don't know that breaker. I've never dealt with them 
bought uh, from them or sold to them either that I know of. So I don't have any familiarity with them. Oh, so he took the money and he didn't, oh, he never did the break and he doesn't answer messages. How come you can't get a refund? I mean, eBay should uh, let you open a case, right? I mean, you should be able to get it that way if nothing else. But how long did he have in the, I'm just trying to troubleshoot this with you a little bit, Randall, because I'm thinking, what are the possible things that could have happened? Well, he could have had problems with his internet, which we all know I had some internet problems back in November that stretched out for about a week, unfortunately. And I had trouble getting some of my stuff done. I got it all done, but not on time. So that could be part of it, or he's out of town, or he got injured. I mean, I don't know. Just trying to think what the possibilities are. Oh, he's posted... He said that it was mailed two weeks ago. What was it that he was breaking? Was it something that you would have definitely had a hit in? Or is it a possibility of one of those things, you know, like where I do a one, a one box break and you sell all 32 spots, but maybe there's only 10 cards in the box, then you know not everybody's going to have a hit. And maybe he's one of the breakers who just marks everything as shipped that doesn't get a hit. So, it, therefore, it would have triggered something to you saying, hey, this got mailed when really there wasn't anything to mail. You know what I mean? So, I don't know if it was a break like this where there's tons and tons of base cards where you would have certainly gotten something or if it was a situation where maybe not every team got something. Oh, it was Bowman's best. Well, yeah, definitely there would have been something in there. And tracking doesn't show any movement on it. Does it show that it was ever even dropped off to the post office or anything? All right, this is the back half. So we are... We are... Uh, in the twilight of this case, so to speak. But we're still going to find some good stuff. I feel it. Oh, no tracking at all. Yeah, no, that's bad. <laughs> that, yeah, that is bad. Uh, Chance Adams for the Yankees is our signature first out of this half. <laughs> you say it's the Bellinger half. Well, I hope it's the Bellinger half. Yeah, Randall, I would just go ahead and open a case with eBay if that's the, if that's, uh, you can't get him to answer any emails, you never saw the break, there's no tracking, uh, I would go ahead and open a case at this point if it's been two weeks. Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. And I am sorry to hear that that happened. I mean, people like that give all breakers a bad name and obviously... I don't ever want anybody to get ripped off, so I am sorry that you had that experience, but hopefully that's not going to be the norm for you. Most breakers are pretty nice and easy to work with, so. Evan White for the Mariners. PJ Conlon for the Mets, and I think every case, I'm pretty sure every case we've had at least one PJ Conlon, and I think more than one P.J. Conlon in some cases. I really think that we do. He comes up quite frequently. Oh, case hit, case hit, and it is a good one. Oh, yeah, look at that, Yankees, with your Torres case hit, number 125. That is a good one. And if you didn't hear me say it earlier, if anybody wants a one-touch magnetic case for anything that you break, that you get in a break with me, shoot me a message on eBay. Let me know. I am always happy to do that. It's at my 
cost for the case and the PayPal fees to receive the money. Typically $3, unless it's a weird size case, which these are not. This is numbered to 99, Will Myers Green Parallel for the Padres. So I'm always uh, happy to do that if you want it for something you pull with me. Quentin Holmes for the Indians. Oh, yeah, did we find you, um, did you, you would have gotten that by now, right? Or did, was that the, I'm trying to think, well, I don't even know what I just most recently sorted. <laughs> Mookie Betts to 250 for the Red Sox. We've done so many cases of this, I'm trying to think. I just sorted some of it over the weekend, and it was, um, it was, but it was an Ian Happ redemption, I think. Royce Lewis and Carlos Correa. Oh, you did get that one. Okay, good. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. It's like, because I don't remember sorting that particular combination this weekend. So I'm thinking that. I was thinking that was an older one, but you never know. There is another Blake Rutherford for the Yankees. Nice little Brendan McKay refractor went by there. Brett Phillips to 150, blue parallel for the Brewers. Dansby, rookie refractor. Nice little Benintendi raking rookies. Yankees have gotten a bunch of hits tonight. Of course, that case hit so far the nicest. How about a little Jordan Montgomery refractor to go with what you've already got? Your pile of riches there, Yankees. You're hitting it at a pretty good clip tonight. Oh, you need another unredeemed for your master set? You don't redeem all your things? You keep some of them without redeeming them? Is that what you're saying? Surely that's not what you're saying. Kevin Maytan for the Braves. Atomic Refractor. There's a nice little Aaron Judge insert best cuts. Whoops, I held that a little bit too low, didn't I? Cut off the bottom of the card. Benintendi and Yellick. Moncada and Runeb. Nice little Mike Trout in the blue parallel to 150 for the Angels. Oh, so you get two. One to redeem and one perfect. Okay. All right. Well, we'll find you. We'll try and find you another one. Although you don't have the Cubs tonight, right? David Peterson for the Mets. Kevin Maytan and Miguel Sano. As our mirror image in that one is the Atomic Refractor. We usually find one of those per case. And there it was. Drew Ellis for the D-backs. It's a little Chris Bryant refractor that went by there. Willie Calhoun for the Texans, or Texans, I got football on the brain. Let's try that again for the Rangers <laughs> with the uh, Atomic Refractor parallel on that one. Tigers with a nice little hit. Expedo. Well, you can never give up uh, hope too soon. You never give up until you've looked at the last card because you know what? Sometimes it's the last one you look at is uh, exactly what you've been waiting for. Duplantier for the D-backs. That one is the an atomic refractor. An atomic Manny Machado for the Orioles. He was kind of trying to stick to this nice little uh, purple
parallel of Barreto for the A's, 250. Nice old Daniel Murphy there. No, I'm not in Columbus. I'm actually in Kentucky. Oh, White Sox, look at you go. How about a Moncada rookie to 50 in the gold parallel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now you're loving life. That's a good one. Mackenzie Gore, nice refractor. Tapia for the Rockies, purple parallel to 250. Mirror image gore and sale. Well, Alex Bregman, rookie refractor, went by. Benintendi best cuts went by. Trevor Rogers for the Marlins, which I believe is the second one. Yeah, I don't know if it's any warmer in Columbus, uh, Ohio, than it is here in Kentucky, but whew, it is chilly outside right now here. Andrew Benintendi, Atomic Refractor for the Red Sox. And then, Aaron, if you want to tell me, um, tell me real quickly there in chat, which teams you want in a second. I'm going to put the, whoops, we're not done. I'm going to put that spreadsheet back up as soon as we finish looking at this. And um, I will add your name next to them. And then, of course, I'll take care of the PayPal money requests and all that stuff later tonight after the breaks. Brendan McKay and Clayton Kershaw. Aaron Judge, base rookie. Oh, you're in Denver? I expect it's pretty cold there, too. I've got some friends of mine uh, who live in Colorado. Been there. I've been around there once. I worked uh, for a beer distributor for a while. So I was out there at the Coors facility. Jeter Downs for the Cincinnati Reds. Yeah, can you imagine? I got paid um, to drink beer, right? How cool is that? Aaron Judge and Giancarlo on that mirror image. Terry says it's minus 20 in Wilston, North Dakota. And Randall says it's 10 to 12 degrees outside right now. Then, then you know what? Colorado is warmer than here if it's 10 to 12 degrees outside for you. So I don't believe it is that warm here. Uh, colder than that here, I think. Ryan Mountcastle for the Orioles. Mirror image, Bellinger and Votto. D-backs again with the Duplantier. And what'd you say there, John? You uh, you backed up the Cubs with the Marlins? Oh, all right. You got a couple of them going in here then. Brendan McKay, Atomic Refractor for the Rays. Little Christian Aurora, Rookie Refractor. Ursig for the Brewers to 99, Green Parallel. You know, I pull a lot of Ursig on the Baseball America, right? Like I was talking about that the other night. He comes out a lot in the Baseball America insert in the Atomic Refractor version of it. But I don't pull him a whole lot for signatures. So tonight, that's what we got. Raking Rookies Bregman. All right, so we're going to recap all this fun stuff. But before we recap everything, we've got another... We have another little project, and that is to distribute our mirror image cards. So once again, just to refresh your memory, and I'm going to pull up the to the front the one on the sleeve so that I can write on it in a minute. On one part of the card, we have uh, our veteran player or our active player right there, in this case, Sano. And on the other half of the card, we have our rookie or prospect 
in that case, Kevin Maytan. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to head us over here to random. And basically, I'm going to type rookie slash prospect. And then I'm going to type uh, veteran. And we're going to random this off. Apparently, I cannot talk and type at the same time. So let's just get that done. All right. So I'm going to hit this three different times. The first two do not count. The third one will tell us how those cards are going to be sent out. So the first one doesn't count. Second one doesn't count. Here comes third and final. And there you will see randomized three times. There's our date and time stamp, and it has gone to rookie slash prospect. So we're going to look through these real quickly. But first, I'm going to circle the rookie side. And again, that's not on your card, okay? That's on a sleeve. And now we'll take a look through these and see where anything's going to go. So this one is headed to the Braves, Kevin Maytan. This one is uh, Bellinger headed to the Dodgers, Judge to the Yankees, McKay, Rays, Mackenzie Gore to the Padres, Moncada, White Sox, Benintendi, Red Sox, Royce Lewis for the Twins, McKay for the Rays, Rosario for the Mets, Kyle Wright, Braves, Faria for the Rays, Pavin Smith, D-backs, Joe Adele, Angels, Adam Hazley, Phillies, Austin Beck, A's, and Haria for the Brewers. So that is how those are distributed. Now let's recap, uh, of course, our color and our signatures. Oh, I'm sorry, John. I know. It is always a drag when random goes the opposite of the of what you have. That happens to me, too, sometimes when I'm breaking with people, and it is always a drag. I am sorry about that. This is Ramel Tapia to 250. Barreto to 250. Mike Trout to 150. Brett Phillips to 150. Mookie Betts to 250. Will Myers to 99. Kyle Tucker to 50. Christian Aurora to 250. Kevin Maytan to 250. Moniac to 150. And Jay Groom to 99. That was our color. I think I kept all of our colors separate. If you saw another one go by and I didn't just recap it, that just means I stacked it in the wrong place. Of course, you're still going to, you know, get it if it's in there. I just try to stack them separately. To 99, Ursig for the Brewers. Duplantier for the D-backs, Mountcastle, Orioles, Downs, Reds, Rogers for the Marlins, nice little Moncada to 50 for the White Sox, Fado, Tigers, Ellis, D-backs, Peterson, Mets, Montgomery, Yankees, Rutherford, Yankees, Holmes, Indians, nice case hit uh, with the Torres for the Yankees to 125. P.J. Conlon, Mets, Evan White, Mariners, Clark Schmidt, Yankees, Chance Adams, Yankees, I don't know how to say this guy's name, Rodays maybe, something like that, to 99 for the Red Sox, Clifton, Cubbies, Warmoth, Blue Jays, Acuna, Braves, Brenson, Brewers, Pearson, Blue Jays, Armenteros, A's, Fisher, Astros, Rutherford to 25 for the Yankees in the nice uh, atomic refractor. Shane Baz for the Pirates. Trevor Rogers, Marlins. Mitchell White, Dodgers, Holmes, Indians, Beck, A's, Haria, Brewers, and Tristan Lutz, Brewers. So, oh, well, that is so nice of you. Raiders 2010 Chen says uh, to send the mirror image of uh, Aaron Judge and Giancarlo uh, to John. So how nice. Well, thank you so much, Raiders 2010 Chen. I will definitely do that. So, John, um, someone is being nice to you there and saying he got plenty of hits. So he's going to send the, uh, the Aaron Judge that went his way in random. He's going to send it off to you. So you came out all right. So coming up next, of course, we have Optic. Before we do that, once again, a reminder that what we just broke is most likely going to ship on Wednesday. It could possibly go into Thursday, but it will most likely be on uh, Wednesday. So keep that in mind. And Aaron, 
you are looking for are the sixers the suns the jazz and the bulls all right let me get all this in here let me get myself in the right spot first all right so i'm just going to write this in right now as aaron so that will remind me and we'll worry about the rest of it later and then you said the suns the sixers the suns the Jazz and the Bulls. La, 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 Bulls. And actually, somebody, um, I'm going to let you know for sure on the Jazz, Aaron. Um, somebody had asked me about it earlier, but they wanted it at a, uh, at a different price. So we were talking back and forth. So I want to make for certain that he that he doesn't uh, want it I, I mean you know and if he if he comes back and says I I do want it at the full price then because he was uh you know oh you're saying if you don't get the jazz you don't want any of them okay well <laughs> all right well I will uh, have that conversation with him then when we finish up uh, when we finish up here, and when we finish up the break, I mean, and I'm just changing that to say the right thing since you reminded me, and then I will get back with you by way of um, eBay messages and or PayPal money requests so that you know what is going on with that. So look for that later tonight or tomorrow. And once again, if anybody else wants um, anything in this break, let me know because I'm going to be putting these up on eBay as soon as all the invoices get paid out, the remaining teams. And they will be going up at a buy it now or best offer, but a higher price. This again, just a quick reminder because people do jump in and out. These are the upcoming auctions that I have on eBay. And boom, we're ready to get set up for our last break of tonight which is our optic football and that once again is a full case of optic and it is break number five so this is 12 boxes of 2017 donruss optic football full case break number five and there oh goodness there are uh <laughs> there are the team names on the left winning bidders across from it on the right hand side and I know you're wondering, like, what was that? Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well, that little stray kitten that I uh, have been taking care of, I told you guys about. And he's kind of a little crazy man. He just ran up and tried to climb my leg. So, yeah, that was a little bit on the painful side. <laughs> and being as how this is a family show, I was trying super hard not to say a bad word. So it came out, oh, goodness. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what happened. Because that, uh, that little ADD kitty there is a hot mess. And little kitty nails are very sharp. So, and he doesn't, he doesn't have many social skills, this little guy. So, to him, climbing my leg is no different than climbing a tree. It's just all nails out and inserted. <laughs> so, whew, yeah, that was fun. Good times. Good times with the kitties. So I'm sure a bunch of you uh, are taking off now that aren't in the football break. So uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody always. And I say it at the end of the break, but I, I need to try to remember to say it in the middle as well because I do know people come in and out. And I do want you to know I appreciate you because I enjoy doing breaks. It is a ton of fun for me. So... Um, I'm always happy to have you breaking with me and even people that stop by and chat that aren't in the break. I love that too because I like having the company. I think it's fun. So the more the merrier. All right. In optic football, guys, here's what we have going. We should find a hot box or two in here. We, we generally do. I mean, I don't think they technically, I don't remember it saying in the liter literature specifically that we would find a hot box, but we do generally find one. But outside of that, we're going to find one autograph per box. 
And we'll also find some parallels, uh, numbered things and whatnot as we go along. And there are lots and lots of advertising cards in here. Lots of them. One of them is, uh, it has an advertisement for the Panini uh, app where you trade digital trading cards. It's called Blitz. That's on one side of it. And on the other side of that one is a, <clears throat> excuse me, is a code for 18% off at the NFL shop, which still means it's vastly overpriced, but not quite as overpriced. <laughs> But if anybody wants one of the codes for the 18% off at the NFL shop, just shoot me a message and let me know. I'll type one out for you. And the other insert that we're going to find in here in abundance is Panini's Kid Reporter. That little contest if you want to enter your kid. And once again, if someone wants one of those codes, shoot me a message. I'll type it out for you. And like most stuff, the longest part of this break is getting everything out of the packs. But we're just going to do these one box at a time. So we'll take one box out, look at it, take the next box out, and so on and so forth. And as I did with the other stuff, after we look at it, I'm going to set it off to the right. And there are mats over there as well, so it's not going on an unprotected surface. I'm just keeping it out of the work area. Adrian Peterson and Joe Mixon. This is to 149. And we're going to find a bunch of these uh, illusions cards. And most of them are going to have two different teams on them. So we're going to set those off to the side. And random.org will help me figure out how to award those at the end of the break. And it'll be something similar where we'll either be rookie or veteran as to what we just did in football. This is the 299 Terrell Suds for the Ravens. I don't know if any of you guys saw the um, interview that he did in the locker room after the loss to the Bengals yesterday. But it was really kind of sad. The Carlos Hyde refractor. So, I mean, I'm not even a Ravens fan because they're our division rival. I'm a Steelers fan. But that made me really sad watching Terrell Suggs. That was terrible. Was sad. So this Illusions, uh, they're both on the same team. So, of course, there's no need to put that one into the random protocol because they're both Buffalo Bills. So that's where that will go. Nice little Honey Badger for Matthew and the Cardinals. We will find a bunch of these inserts that are AKA. So it's a player and their nickname, the AKA, of course, meaning also known as... And those, to me, are fun little inserts. And some of them will be color, probably, numbered parallels. Reuben Foster for the Niners to 299. Des Bryant. Mike Glennon <laughs> for the Bears. Like I, I'm guessing Bears probably don't even want that card, right? <laughs> that is to 199. I mean, I know you want it. It's not like I'm not going to send it, but yet, yeah. Mike Glennon just seems like a, I don't know. That's to 99 for the Texans with the Deonta Foreman, our first autograph hit of this break. Raekwon McMillan uh, refractor went by there. For the Cardinals, David Johnson numbered to 149. Jamal Adams for the Jets numbered to 50. So what do you guys think about all the coaching changes that uh, some of my guests were pretty, I think it was pretty well expected, except I don't know. I really didn't think they were going to get rid of uh, Del Rio. 
But obviously everybody's saying they're going to pick up uh, Gruden, that they've talked him into coming back. May have already. I don't know. I didn't read the uh, headlines in the last six hours or so. I'm assuming they probably won't announce him for a week or so because they have to go through the protocol of interviewing other people. That's to 149 on the Josh Reynolds. Because even if they know they want Gruden, but they don't go through the proper protocol, which is actually called the Rooney rule, then they get in trouble with the league. So basically they have to interview a certain number of minority coaches and a certain number of this and that and the other thing. So James Connor refractor for my Pittsburgh Steelers. So I don't think they'll announce Gruden right away, even if that is what they're thinking. It could be a few days, but I was a little bit surprised that, I mean, I know they didn't have the year anybody expected this year with the Raiders. But last year, up until the time that Carr broke his leg, I mean, good grief, they were really good. And frankly, Del Rio's probably the had the most luck with them as, as anyone has had in a long time. So I was shocked a bit. Especially when you think about the Browns keeping Hugh Jackson, who's won one game in two years. Which, that was another sad kind of clip, watching poor little uh, Deshaun Kaiser at the podium, basically. It, this is paraphrasing, but essentially... This is my rookie year, and I didn't win a single game. I mean, oh, how sad is that? That's sad, too. And then Corey Coleman. Man, I felt bad for that kid when he dropped that pass. Because that probably would have won the game for them. Obviously, Corey Coleman is not the reason that they were 0-15 going into that game. Not one player's fault, but of course that's what everybody's going to remember is that in game 16 they had a chance to possibly win and Corey dropped the pass and I just felt terrible for him too. And they were playing my Steelers, right? And of course I wanted my Steelers to win, but I still felt really bad for those guys. But I totally expected John Fox to get the hook. I think we all expected John Fox to get the hook. And the coach of the Lions. I think everybody saw that coming. So most of it, I guess, is as expected. And I'm sure more to come. And looks like Arians is going to retire. And I'm sure uh, Marvin Lewis is going to do something. Retire or move to the front office. Who knows? Something. DeAndre Hopkins for the Texans to 199. A little Cam Newton went by there. Another James Conner refractor for my Steelers. How about Juju yesterday? Ho, oh, ho, taking it to the house on that kickoff return. That was some sweet, sweet action right there. It's the first time a Steeler has returned a kickoff for a touchdown since Antonio Brown's rookie year in 2010. So, yeah. Tredavious White, number two. Does that say 50? Yeah, 50 for the Buffalo Bills, who are in the playoffs for the first time since 1999. And that is compliments of the Bengals. And that last second touchdown they managed to work in up there against the Ravens. Jarvis Landry to 99 for the Dolphins. Illusions with Kareem Hunt and Priest Holmes. Of course, again, that was both the same team, so we don't have to random that one either. Stacy Coley Refractor for the Vikes. 
Nice little Leonard Fournette, refractor numbered to 149, rated rookie for the Jags. A little advertising card slid off the pile there. Big Ben, refractor in the throwback card design. I still can't believe we pulled that Big Ben to 10 out of Contenders the other night. Oh, that was sweet. That was some sweet, sweet hit. And Juju came out of that same half of uh, that case. That was, oh, that was such a nice, that was a nice Steelers case. I told you all I had a feeling about it before we uh, got started on it. And, yeah, we had the two T.J. Watts in the first half and then that nice, Ben Roethlisberger to 10 and Juju Smith-Schuster out of the second half. It was was indeed a sweet case of contenders for the Steelers. Chad Kelly for the Broncos. So we are in our hot box here, as you see, because this is uh, our second autograph out of this box. Yeah, Tredavious was our first. They are sticker autos. Matt Ryan to $2.99 for the Falcons. Jeremy Sprinkle, that is for the Redskins. It's one I don't pull in an autograph variation too often. The Sprinkle, I mean. The Blonde Bomber, Mr. Terry Bradshaw, former Pittsburgh Steelers. And illusions with uh, Jimmy Garoppolo and Tom Brady. Of course, Jimmy G's moved on down the road, but on this card, he was still a Patriot. So that one goes to the Patriots outright. Chad Kelly to 299 for the Broncos, who are keeping their head coach. I was a little bit surprised. I mean, I know the Broncos kind of, traditionally are slower to pull the trigger and they do generally give their people more time their coaches and whatnot to get the ship headed in the right direction so i guess it's not really a total surprise that they kept their coach but i was i was a little surprised But they are one of the more loyal uh, front offices, I guess. I think there's uh, some that are more so than others. I guess they fall in the more so side of it. So I thought that I had another case of optic, but I can't locate it. So I don't think I do. I guess this is I guess this is the last one that I have on hand. But uh, I'm going to make a call tomorrow, and I feel like I can probably round up another one. And if that's the case, we'll break it over the weekend. But I want to try to round up some more contenders and some other things as well. So I'm going to get on the phone tomorrow and see what else we can bring in because there is it comes out I think Friday of this week Panini has Revolution Basketball coming out I didn't buy it though it's um, it's one that has a lot of parallels a lot of different inserts and colors and things like that but not a lot of what I consider to be true hits not that the numbered inserts and things aren't hits they are to a degree but there's only I think three autographs per case of revolution it's a low amount and I think it's three a case so, I don't know. Price point's not high. 
especially in relation to some other stuff. But we still have absolute to break. I still have some prism. You know, the back part of that's going to break on Friday night. And we had another other basketball stuff uh, on hand that I felt like was better quality stuff, honestly, than Revolution. So I didn't buy it. This is to 99 on the Kelvin Benjamin. But if somebody really wants to break it, you know, if there, if some of you watching it say, oh, it's my favorite thing ever and I want to break it and there are a few of you interested in it, I'm sure I could still get it and still get it here in time to open it over the weekend. But outside of somebody really, really wanting it, I don't really plan to deal with it. That's number to 25 for the Cowboys. And I believe that's the only thing coming out this week. First of next week, we have Leaf, um, is it Valiant? One of the Leaf baseballs is coming out. It might be Valiant. If it's not Valiant, it's another Leaf baseball, but... I want to say maybe it is Valiant. So we've had a few of these, uh, the Jags just a second ago and the Giants here that, once again, they're the same team, so they don't need to go over to random when they're the same teams. We don't have to worry about that. And if, if it is, well, whether it's Leaf Valiant Baseball or not, when it is time to break Valiant... It's going to be pretty cool. This is numbered to 149 for the Cardinals. Since we're doing football right now, many of you may have uh, remembered or broken with me the Leaf Valiant football earlier this year. And they have reconfigured Valiant baseball to be the same. So there'll be a graded card already in each box along with the other autograph hits so it's pretty cool to get the already graded card out of there and all of them in football were graded really quite high most of them 9.5 in fact it might have even had a 9 point it had a guarantee and it was either 9 or higher or 9.5 or higher but we pulled a lot of 9.5s. We pulled some Black Label 10s. I mean, it was pretty sweet. Mac Hollins to 50 for the Eagles. That one is an on-card auto. So I'm looking forward to having Valiant uh, Baseball come out with that same configuration that we had in football, which was a very nice one. So... Curtis Samuel to 299 for the Panthers. And other than that, of course, the leaf isn't until early next week. So the only thing coming out the end of this week that I know of is the Revolution basketball that I don't have on order. Alvin Kamara, refractor for the Saints. Little James Connor refractor went by there. Frank Gore numbered to 199 for the Colts. And that was the end of that box. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to stack it that way. Then I'll know when we're at the halfway point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. <laughs> that way I can just tell at a glance how far we are. Of course, we started nice and early tonight because I knew that it would take us uh, two and a half to three hours to get this done. And I didn't want everybody to miss their their bedtime since uh, we've got work tomorrow and school tomorrow and holidays are officially over. We're back to real life starting in the morning. But 
It has been a fun couple of weeks, right? But I do think it's always so hard to get back into the groove of things after having short weeks and taking time off around the holidays and all that. And then you think, oh, wow, now I got out. Now I gotta work a long time before I get to another holiday. <laughs> but we have a few more hours before we get to that point, I guess. Right. We don't have to worry about it until after midnight, I guess. Anyway. Matthew's refractor. So the Buffalo Bills are sending the Bengals some wings, they say, for winning that game uh, against the Ravens and getting the Bills in the playoffs. This is number to five for the Chiefs on the Travis Kelsey. So there was a big debate uh, as to what sending them some wings meant. And somebody's thinking, I guess, that they were going to buy some wings, put them in a box, and ship them down there. I'm thinking, well, I guess that is possible, but I would think, why wouldn't they just send them a gift card to Buffalo Wild Wings? I mean, that's wings. It's got buffalo in the name. <laughs> I'm sure they have Buffalo Wild Wings in Ohio. Or, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they do. They've got them everywhere, don't they? This is to 149, Josh Dobbs and uh, Big Ben Illusions. But I thought it was pretty cool that Buffalo was going to send uh, Cincinnati something for winning the game. Which got Buffalo into the playoffs. This is to 149 on the Stefan Diggs. And I need to get some more sleeves out of the pack there. Little Gronk refractor went by there. So I think the playoffs are going to be fun this year. I kind of like uh, the mix of teams that are in there. I think we're going to have some interesting games. P. Ryan for the Redskins, and this is numbered to 10. Nice low number on the P. Ryan. 3 of 10 on card auto. Nice hit, Skins. A little cam, Gridiron Kings to 149. Donnell Pumphrey, numbered to 299 for the Eagles. A couple more of our lovely advertising cards. Ryan Sweetser to 199 for the boys. They ended up having a little bit of a rough year this year, didn't they? It's not as uh, whoops, not as good as we kind of maybe expected. Corey Davis and Des Bryant. That one will have to go to random because it has two different teams on it. Demarcus Walker to 99 for the Broncos. You guys have gone quiet in chat. I think everybody took off after baseball. Everybody left. Not really. I see there's people logged in, but all the people in chat left, I should say. Dalvin Cook, refractor for the Vikings. A little Eli Manning, unnumbered gridiron king.
And I don't, you know, since today was a holiday, this is my normal day to have um, recycling and stuff picked up. And they don't come today because of it being a holiday. And they didn't come last Monday because of the holiday. But they did come last Wednesday, but that's, I was, it was so cold out and I was still in the midst of battling that illness that I got over Christmas. So I didn't want to haul everything out there in the cold, so I skipped it. And now I've got to wait until Wednesday this weekend. All oh, my stuff is overflowing. <laughs> Not as much my trash, but my recycling, because of course I recycle all these boxes and everything from the breaks, as well as the shipping boxes that all this stuff came in and all that. I always have a ton of recycling every week, and my thing is like overflowing. I think I'm going to have to ask one of the neighbors if they have any space in there. I'm going to borrow some space. But I can't just throw it in the trash. If I know it can be recycled, I always recycle it. I'm kind of a... Uh, well, one of my friends says I'm a hippie in that regard. I think that would probably be the only regard in which anyone would consider me to be a hippie. But I guess I am in that sense, in that I like to recycle. Hang on one second, guys. got to help this little kitty. He's <laughs> Well, he made it through. <laughs> the pile of wrappers and boxes are, are bigger and taller. <laughs> bigger and taller than he is and I had to kind of clear him a little path and he was trying to figure out how to get through there. He's going into the vet tomorrow. They're going to uh, do a little snip on him. So, you know, you always have to get them spayed and neutered when they're fairly young. So he doesn't know it yet, but he's not going to have a real good day tomorrow. That's to 50 on the Sam Bradford. Brad Kaya. And he is to 99 for the Lions. Malik McDowell to 149 for the Seahawks. A Donnell Pumphrey refractor for the Eagles. Joe Flacco for the Ravens to 149. Jordy Nelson to 99 for the pack. Now he's coming back through. I'm like, why didn't he just stay on the other side? I helped him get through there. He should have just stayed on that side. But he's active. He's he's not a uh, he is not a a quiet little kitty. He is not the kind of little kitty that goes and sleeps in the corner. He is the kind of little kitty that seriously needs like Adderall or something. It's insane. My mom swears that's the reason he was a stray. She says he wasn't just born outside to a stray mother or something. She goes, I swear somebody probably had him. And he was just going crazy and running around all the time. And they just put him outside. <laughs> but I hope not. I hope nobody would do that to him. He was so Marcus Walker Refractor. A little Raekwon McMillan to $2.99 for the Dolphins. Oh, hi, Todd. You said, uh, yeah, I know there's Origins back there. I've got to start getting that listed again. Um, here's the deal with the Origins and a bunch of the other stuff that's sitting on the table. 
I typically do some mixers and I also do some one box breaks and I break memorabilia and other stuff besides just half and full cases. But I, I kind of stepped back from that. This is numbered to 149 from, oh, roughly about Thanksgiving onward because there are so many people that jump on eBay that shop for the holidays and they don't shop any other time of the year. And they'll just look at the picture of something and not read anything. They don't even read the rest of the title. They don't read the description. They don't read anything. So then they'll buy into a break and then they won't realize it's a break. And they think they've bought a box or a case of something and it turns into a big mess and they get all upset and you get negative feedback and yada yada. So I just didn't list much of that kind of stuff from Thanksgiving up until this week. I'm starting to list it again. So, um, Origins, before I was, I did, obviously, when it came out, some full and half case breaks. Then I did some just single box breaks um, here and there and put it in with mixers. And I've got probably, I don't know, well, there's four sitting right there on the table. I've probably got another four or six around here somewhere, I imagine. And I've got to figure out what to do with them. I'm... I'll either list them together as like a four, six, eight box break or something like that. I doubt, I don't have a whole lot of football stuff to do as mixers right now. Because I always do the, the 2013 playbook as a single box, the 2013 black goes single, most of the top supreme goes single. Uh, 2010 plates and patches go single. So I'll probably mix the Origins just with itself. It'll either be one box Origins breaks, free shipping, low buy-in, or maybe some multi-boxes, something like that. But I will get that listed again, as well as most of the other stuff you see on this table. Some of it I've started back into the rotation. Some of it I haven't. So i got to get that done. Origins has a lot of Kareem Hunt in it, though. I do remember that. And actually, a decent amount of Kamara as well. I recall we pulled a fair amount of both of them before either one of them, you know, before we knew either of them were going to be super hot. But I'll have to look. I really need to get in there this week. In fact, I will do that. Uh, look at all of the because I have a whole room that has just the miscellaneous kind of stuff in it and I need to go through that this is numbered to 99 both for the Chargers with the Mike Williams and the Lance Allworth and I'll see what else I have for 2015, 2016, 2017 football and see if I want to how I want to uh, break it out you know that's to 99 on the Joe Mixon. Of course, I've got uh, black gold. I do break 2016 black gold football, but those typically break in one box breaks because they're kind of pricey. That is a Foreman refractor for the Texans. Yeah, Todd... Um, a lot of times with the mixers, it's just, it'll be across various years. So if I do like an NFL mixer, for instance, I might have stuff in there from four or five different NFL years. Sometimes it'll be mixed boxes from the same year, but usually it's mixed boxes from a variety of years. Otherwise, as I say, sometimes I'll just do them as like, here's a one box break and you can buy into it for $1.99 a team or something and with free shipping. Genevieve Morton, fans of the game to 99, you'll see it does have the Rams on there. So that will go to the Rams as a result. If there had not been any team on that fans of the game, then we would have awarded it via random, but that one did have one on there. Gerald Everett to $2.99 for the Rams. Because I'm thinking I might have even in there, 
I might have a little bit of gold standard left. I'm not 100% sure, but I might have. Um, so we'll just see. I'll have to see what else I've got for this year's football, and then I'll decide what's the best way to list the origins. But I'm like you. I, I like origins. I like inception, um, which is, of course, baseball. It's tops. And then Origins is Panini and football. Taven Austin to 199. But I kind of meant to do that well before the holiday, and I don't really know why I didn't get it done. I think I just. Sometimes I get in a flow of doing a lot of cases and half cases, and then it's hard to work in the other stuff if you've got a bunch of that coming out right in a row. So that might have been why. I don't know. It's a little Wayne Gallman refractor for the Giants. A little AB refractor. Kaiser. Derek Carr, numbered to 10 for the Raiders. Yeah, well, I noticed you said, Todd, that you're kind of new to breaks. You're, you're going to love them, man. They're so much fun. I got hooked a while back, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did. Numbered to 20, Ezekiel Elliott. How about that? Elite Series, Sticker Auto, Zeke to 20 for the boys. Oh, nice, nice, nice hit for those cowboys yes indeed and once again if you want a one touch for that or anything else shoot me a message let me know on average it's 149 on the josh malone generally speaking it's uh three bucks a case and that covers my cost for the case and the paypal fees that they charge me to receive the payment for the case and, of course, obviously, it's going to still ship to you safely. Even if you don't want a one-touch magnetic, it's still going to be in a nice little uh, top loader and stuff. But uh, but sometimes people do want the one-touch, so I like to give that option. Oh, is that yours tonight, Edward? Okay, yeah. We'll put that, we'll put that in the one-touch for you, man. That is a sweet hit. Sweet hit, Edward. I mean, any Zeke is a good Zeke, but to 20, oh, I like it. Of course, I uh, I know he wasn't as productive this year, but hey, he had to set six games, so that's all right. He's going to be back bigger and badder than ever next year, and... I don't think his card prices really they didn't take a hit anyway, even though he did have to set six games this year. His card prices stayed pretty steady, so I think that uh, I think that's a little bit like money in the bank on that bad boy. I'm assuming that that will take the place of. The one we pull, normally out of uh, Optic, we pull one per case that has the little jersey swatch along with the autograph. And I am assuming that that Elite Series Ezekiel Elliott 20 probably takes the place of the, of the swatch auto that we would normally pull out of the case of Optic. Of course, I won't know that for sure until we're done with the break, but that's what I think. My working theory, if you will. And I tell you what, I'm going to get a look at this and see about how thick that looks. Um, and I'm going to grab a case. I'm going to grab a case for it right now so that I do not forget to do it. I don't think I would forget, but we're just going to go ahead and take care of it. If I can find the right size case, that is. I don't need a 150. I know, I've got so many different sizes of uh, cases here. I think 
Yeah, this will probably do it. Let's try. That's two options. We'll try 100 or 130. My guess is one of the two will get it. Try this one first. And we'll see if that... Uh, I think that's all right. That might be... Does that move in there? No, I think that's all right. I think that's got it. So I will send you the little, um, I'll send you this little thingy with it, but that tells you about the case and how long it provides uh, UV protection and, you know, all that stuff. So, so that will be attached with it. I will also send you by way of PayPal. Once again, I'll just pull your email address from eBay. I'll look in the order records or whatever, and I'll send you a PayPal money request that'll come directly from PayPal. And of course, I'll write in the description what it's for, so you'll know when you see it. But eBay gets a little uh, testy if you talk about stuff that you're paying for outside of eBay, even when it's something like that, where you're just putting a case on something that you got on a purchase from eBay. So I can't usually say too many details in the actual message because they freak out on you. So that's why I'm telling you now. <laughs> and I'm going to change, I hit the camera, I think. So I'm just slightly gonna, yeah. Jabril Peppers for the Browns. And that was a sticker auto. And I'm thinking maybe that's going to lead us into another hot box. We're going to find out. But I think that's a definite possibility. that it will be. That's what my, that's still 149 on the DeMarco Murray. That's been my experience for the most part is when you start seeing the first one out like that as a sticker auto, that a lot of times it's going to be a hot box. LaShawn McCoy to 99 for the Buffalo Bills. And Randy White, a.k.a. I think that's the first Randy White, a.k.a. I've seen, too. So, the Manster. Trent Taylor to 199 for the Niners. A little Kareem Hunt, but just the base-rated rookie. He has a redemption in here, Kareem Hunt. The autograph is... Charles Harris refractor, or at least uh, the one we pulled the other day was Davis Webb refractor, rated rookie. Crowell to two ninety nine for the poor Browns. Did you, did you guys see that one of their, I'm sure you probably have, but one of the fans of the Browns, Wayne Gallman Refractor, started, I don't know, several weeks ago when it looked like there was a pretty good chance that they could end up going 0-16, started a, a GoFundMe to pay for a parade, for a perfect season parade, with it being, in other words, a perfect season of losing, but anyway that's what the guy was working on this is to 149 trent taylor for the 49ers and etc <laughs> the headache medicine etc came in and donated a bunch of money to it so now there's going to be a parade for their perfect o and 16 season sponsored by etc isn't that i mean <laughs> That's just, oh, that's the 149, Dalvin Cook and uh, Chuck Foreman for the Vikings. If you are a player, that has just got to be so painful, right? I mean, oh, it's bad enough that you went the whole season and you lost every game. And then they come along and have a parade about it, sponsored by Excedrin, no less. Oh, <laughs> 
feel bad for those guys. And then another website, I don't know if it was Bleacher, I have a Bleacher Report. Someone had an article where statistically they had figured out at what the odds were statistically of the Browns going 0-16 this year. And I think that it was calculated a long time ago, not just recently. But they published it recently. And it was a, obviously a varying amount per game. But overall, it was something like less than, a, it was about a quarter of a percent. So less than 1% chance of them ending up 0-16, and, and yet they did. So there you are with, and somebody said, did it, was it like, five, was it 5,000 to 1 in Vegas? Because if so, and I somehow missed that, I must, I, I, surely I heard that wrong. I can't imagine that Vegas would have given 5,000 to 1 on that. Because if they had, wouldn't we all be rich? <laughs> no, we wouldn't be, but I probably would have bet it. I would have taken that, those odds. <laughs> But I think I must have heard that wrong. It's probably 500 or something. I don't know. Well, Todd, I mean, yeah, I guess it wouldn't have hurt to try Kessler at quarterback. I just, I just stand by what I said the other day in that they really just threw Kaiser to the wolves. There should have been, I mean, I think at one point in time, the kid probably would have had some potential if he had been brought along properly and a little more slowly and with a little better supporting cast. But I'm afraid that they've just ruined him by this point. I'm afraid that his confidence is just so far gone that it's not ever going to come back. DeAndre Hopkins to 299 Especially given that you know with picks one and four in the draft, amongst many others, but we know for sure they're going to have picks one and four. Blonde Bomber again, uh, a.k.a. for the Steelers with the Terry Bradshaw. So you know they're going to pick up another quarterback because, I mean, it's not the Browns if they don't draft at least one every year. So any little bit of confidence that the kid might have had left is, I'm sure, long gone now. Had to get some more sleeves. And of course, when they got that pick from the Texans, you certainly wouldn't have expected it to be a number four pick. But then after Deshaun got hurt and the Texans had a terrible back end to their season, well, then you end up with picks one and four as the Cleveland Browns. And that's just a handful of the many, many picks they're going to have in this draft. So there's no way they go out of it without at least one quarterback. They might even get two. You never know. <laughs> Jordy Nelson to 199 for the Packers. Edward, I don't remember Troy Aikman having that kind of a start. I mean, that rough of a start. Did he? And I'm just, I'm maybe just not remembering it well. I mean, I, I know it wasn't perfect, but I didn't remember it being that bad. Christian McCaffrey, 2, 149. It almost seemed like Kaiser got worse as the year went on, as opposed to better. And again, I think so much of that is just confidence and the fact that they need a supporting cast around him, of course, and the fact that they rushed his development. But all of that aside, it has got to be so demoralizing because you're kind of the face, right? I mean, you're the face of the team standing up there every week, loss after loss after loss and getting benched. And then after being told you won't be getting benched and then back in and then benched and I don't know. I just think they didn't handle them very well. You saw a redemption go by. I'm going to keep you in suspense for a little bit. This is to 149 on the Joe Flacco. 
and we're not going to flip it just quite yet but we do have one waiting for us Gary and Conley for the Raiders to 149 Another Jordy Nelson Gridiron Kings. Jarrell Freeman insert uh, refractor for the Bears. Of course, I think it's, I still think it's going to be interesting to see how things shake out at the Vikings because you know you've got Sam Bradford, of course, who was doing really well before he got hurt, and he's a free agent uh, for sure after this season. Then you got Teddy Bridgewater, and we all know what happened with that injury, but now he's back, and they hadn't, um, they haven't picked up his option, or they didn't pick up his option back when they had the chance for his fifth year. So he's going to be a free agent. And then I couldn't remember the other day if Case Keenum was up or not, and then I subsequently looked and yeah, so Case Keenum also is not under contract after this season. So the Vikings have three viable quarterback options, but none of which are going to be under their control beyond this season. So I think a lot of what happens with some of these other teams in the draft are going to depend on what things look like with the Vikings and their QB sitch. And then, of course, you, know, you have the Browns who wanted to pick up, uh, uh, oh, why am I blanking on his name down in Cincinnati? Um, crap. Why can't I think of his name? I know his name, and it's like not coming out of my head. McCarron. And actually were going to pick him up. And then had a deal done and everything. And didn't get the paperwork into the... NFL office by the trade deadline. Missed it by like a minute or something. Stupid. That is just typical Browns for you right there, isn't it? But as much as I think, oh, they're going to draft a quarterback, I also think they should get an established veteran quarterback at the same time. Go pick up Teddy Bridgewater or Case Keenum or Sam Bradford, whichever one of them you can get, and bring that person along with whoever you draft and let them sort it out. And so Pat Mahomes got his uh, first NFL start over the weekend. So that was good to see. This is to 299. Even though Alex Smith overall had a pretty good year, he was a little up and down in places, and it's nice to see <clears throat> Pat Mahomes getting some reps and getting a chance. Alan Hearns to 149 for the Jags. Little Adam Shaheen. I guess I need to flip it over, don't I, before I go <laughs> setting it down over there to 99 for the Bears. Another Deonta Foreman refractor went by. Hey, Joe Montana, a little Joe Cool, numbered to five for the 49ers. Seems like we pulled one of the green AKAs to five in almost every case, doesn't it? Seems like we do. We probably don't really get one in every single case, but not to five anyway, but feels a little bit like we do. And I believe we are back on contenders tomorrow night, if I am 
remembering correctly. Oh, one of one, Kurt Warner, St. Louis Rams, and it is signed. Ba boom. Nice hit for the Rams. Sticker auto, little Kurt Warner, one of one. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Do you have the Rams tonight too, Edward? Is that yours also? Because if it is, you are crushing it right now. I know you had several teams. I just can't remember who all you had. No, that one's not yours. Well, you're still doing all right with your Ezekiel Elliott for sure. But I always love getting one of ones. We all love getting one of ones. Uh... But sometimes you get the one of ones, you know, and you flip them over and they're not signed. So to flip that one over and uh, have that little Kurt Warner signature on there was super nice to see. Julian Edelman to 199. And of course, we still have our redemption over here, too. I haven't forgotten about it. I'm just leaving it over there face down. We're going to do it the very last uh, thing. It's going to going to be our little gift that we're waiting to unwrap. TJ and JJ Watt. TJ has been really better than I expected him to be. Like I thought he would be good and I thought he would eventually be really good, but there's not really an eventually to it. He just came in and was really good. <laughs> Didn't worry about the eventually part. Just went straight to really good. That family has the pedigree, though. I mean, three boys, all three in the NFL, and two of them, uh, well, one of them a bona fide superstar already, JJ. TJ coming along not far behind him. And then their brother plays, I think, for the Chargers, maybe? Good, good football genes in that family, to say the least. But at least our first uh, football break of 2018 has been a good one. A couple of really nice hits out of here, so... I think that sets us in a good tone for the year going forward. We can start off hot and just keep on rolling. Well, why can I not? Oh, because I was. <laughs> Because the seam was on the opposite side. There you go. I'm thinking, why can I not get in there? I wasn't looking down at it. And yeah, I had seam facing the opposite way. That would do it. So what do you guys think about Gruden coming back to coaching? I mean, he... Obviously, the legendary coach, but he has been out for a while, and he didn't have, like, a super hot record, did he, when he was at Tampa Bay? I mean, it wasn't terrible, but that was his last gig, and I don't remember it being through the roof. That's to 75 on the Chris Warmly, and it was a sticker auto, and that might indicate that we're going to head into another hot box, but I don't know for sure. A.J. Green for the Bengals, numbered to 99. LaShawn McCoy. Hey, has anybody heard? There's an ad thing stuck behind him. Has anybody heard the status update on LaShawn McCoy? That didn't look like a good injury yesterday. That's to 149 on the Gerald Everett. I forgot to go and look it up today. 
So I don't know how uh, severe that injury was. If anybody knows and you want to throw it up in chat, I would appreciate it. If not, I'll look it up later, of course. Josh Malone Refractor. I feel like there's something, yeah, was something stuck to the back of it. That's why it felt like there was. I did not remember Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice being called Flash 80, but there you go. I guess he was. Because that's what the AKA card says, so... Kelvin Benjamin, 299 Panthers. Juju Smith Schuster, Refractor for the Steelers. Oh, Travis Kelsey Zeus to 149 for the Chiefs. Alvin Kamara Gridiron Kings. Whoops, points. And catch those in time. That replaces one of our hits out of the hot box here. Elijah Hood for the Raiders. So we will be giving out those reward points by way of random.org in a little while at the end of the break. Basically, uh, I'll cut and paste all of the teams and drop them into random. That's to 99 Gerard Davis for the Lions. And then random will determine for us which team takes that home. 150 points. And I think pretty much every every case that we've opened of this, one of our hot boxes has had 150 point, points card in it. And I think they've all been 150 points. None of them have been higher amounts. And I don't think we've had any case where we didn't have at least one. And you know, I told you guys I have all those sitting here that I hadn't even bothered to scan into the app. And I forget who it was. Someone, someone uh, in chat said, oh, you need to put those in there and just do something with them. And so I've had them laying around for a long time probably the better part of a year so i finally did yesterday scan them into the app and then i just went in and got random stuff <laughs> so yeah may as well do something with them actually i think whoever it was in chat said that i should sell them and then i just remember thinking oh that sounds like a lot of trouble i'll just scan them and Scan them and use them. So I got um, I got a Josh Dobbs signed optic, and I got um, Tyler Eulis uh, autograph card from Select, and what else did I get? I don't know. I just got some odds and ends stuff of people that I thought I could just put in my personal collection. It wasn't anything I was over the moon about, but but I thought the Josh Jobs was decent for mm, maybe 650 points or something like that. So it was reasonable anyway. But they didn't have much for the Steelers other than besides him. Um... They had, what's his head, Dree Archer, who's not even a Steeler and hasn't been forever. So they had some Dree Archer stuff. And then they had a lot of Bud Dupree. But I already have a lot of Bud Dupree because he went to UK. So that's where I went to college, of course. And so when he got picked up, coming from my college, and then got picked up by my favorite NFL team, I, I got a bunch of him his rookie year. 
Pat Mahomes, 2 p.m. for the Chiefs. I had to think about that a minute. It's like, where did they get 2 p.m.? Yeah, now I get it. Pat Mahomes, the second. The P, the A. Yeah, it just took me a minute. Stacy Coley for the Vikings. A little slow on the uptake sometimes. Jabril Peppers to $2.99. Alan Hearns to $99. Another hot box. Carlos Henderson to $150 for the Denver Broncos. Carson Wentz, Gridiron Kings, Refractor. I, I think, don't all those Gridiron Kings refract? I think they do. There's a little Deshaun Watson Refractor to 149. I wish that had been signed for you Texans, but at least we have that much. And we've still got a bit to go. He could... Uh, be on that redemption that we haven't flipped over yet. Mike Evans was a refractor. Or he could be in the last box or somewhere else still in the in the last part of this box. Lions Gerard Davis to 50. Well, John Ross III went by. Chad Kelly, I believe this is our second Chad Kelly, isn't it? Seems like Chad Kelly's always in the hot box, isn't he? Probably not really always, but it seems like he is. There's a nice little uh, Tariq Cohen rookie that just went by there. Illusions, Curtis Samuel, Steve Smith, Sr. to 149. Le'Veon Bell to 199. Yeah, you heard Kitty going through again. Yeah. Jarvis Landry to 5. Nice low number for the Dolphins with three of five. It's going to take me forever to pick all that stuff up off the floor. Those advertising cards down there, too. Cooper Cup for the Rams. Refractor. Rated rookie, of course. Jeremy Hill. To 99 for the Bengals. All right, one box left. One box left and one redemption that we haven't flipped over yet. So there is still hope. There's always hope if we have not found what you're looking for yet. I'm going to scoop this stuff up. That's the things. Those are the things we have to deal with at the end of the break. A little housekeeping. So we're not too far off track. I, I estimated that it would take me about two and a half hours tonight. We started at 8.30, so 9.30, 10.30, 11. So I'm going to be about maybe 10, 15 minutes off. Not too far, not too bad.
All right, last box. Here's hoping we knock it out of the park, although honestly it's already been a pretty good, pretty good case for us. Jeremy McNichols rated rookie refractor for the Bucks. Oh, Joe Mixon for the Bengals. David Njoku for the Browns to 149. Followed by another Njoku, this one to 199. Fans of the game, Dick Vitale. That one going to the Buccaneers because, as you see, there's a big Buccaneer logo on the back. There are a few of those fans of the games that don't have team logos on the back, and if we were to come across one of those, of course, it would be distributed by way of random. Matt Collins to 149 for the Eagles. But as long as they have team names uh, on them, that's how we'll distribute them. A little Blake Bortles to 10 for the Jags. <laughs> Marlon Mack. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Marlon Mack for the Colts. Once again, it's just the little kitten down here. Uh, just He's very entertaining at my feet this evening. Matt Stafford to 149 for the Lions. Advertising uh, card there that went flipping off on its own way, which they have a tendency to do. Mitch Trubisky to 20, so guess what? That Ezekiel Elliott was not in place of our jersey and autograph hit. Boom! How about you, Bears? Sticker auto. Really nice looking patch. Part of a, a number, most likely. And could be part of a letter, I guess. But either way, that's a really nice little hit to 20 for the Bears. So, guess what? Ezekiel Elliott did not knock out our case hit. I thought he might have been our case hit. No, he was in addition to. So, pretty happy about that. Chris Berman. Here's an example of one that does not have a team name on the back. <laughs> so, that one we will distribute by way of random. Sorry, kitten again, guys. Sorry. That's the $2.99, Jeremy Sprinkle. He's really just... About to lose his mind right now, I think. I don't know if I showed you the back of that, but I think you know what those ad cards look like by now. Tom Terrific, a little Tom Brady, a.k.a. for the Patriots. Gary and Conley Refractor. And that is that. Other than, we still have to flip a redemption, and these are the other little housekeeping things we have to deal with. Our redemption is Kareem Hunt. Boom. Oh, and it's a hollow, too. Rated Rookies Auto hollow, so uh, refractor, in other words. So Kansas City. Nice. So here's what we're going to do with all this fun stuff. We're going to first, I'm going to show you that one again. That's what we're going to look for on the checklist, so... We're going we're gonna to scoot over that way and take a look at it. And, of course, i got to get us back to... We were in absolute basketball last, so I've got to get us into football and down to optics, so bear with me. And that card set says Rated Rookies Autographed Hollow. 
Where are you? There you are. And it is card number what? 182. So there's Kareem Hunt, Kansas City Chiefs. It will be numbered to 99. So let's go ahead and get this done. Again, guys, this isn't a sleeve, so I'm not marking directly on your thing. Now, we're going to take a look at these. These are our illusions. There could be some others that I accidentally stacked over there and meant to set out separate. But these are the ones I know of, of illusions that have two different teams on the card. So, basically what I'm going to do, same as we did in baseball a minute ago, uh, of course, the player in the foreground is the rookie. The player in the background is the veteran. So I'm going to type in rookie on one line, and then I'm going to type in veteran on the opposite line. And wherever we end up, after the third random, the first two don't count, wherever we end up on the third random will tell us what's going to happen to those cards. So rookie and veteran. First random does not count, second does not count, third and final does count, and there you will see randomized three times our date and time stamp, and that is going to the veteran position. I forgot to, oh man, did I not switch your view at any point during that? I didn't, did I? Did I leave you in the wrong view? So I guess, uh, well, there is the result, but of course I meant for you to see the whole thing, um, but I guess... Well, I guess it's all right, because you can still see the, because I've already called it, so I really don't want to take it away from the veterans, because I've already given it to them, yet I did mean for you to see the whole thing, but you can still see randomized three times, and our date and time stamp, and that veteran is on top, so uh, I think we're okay there. I just would have rather, obviously, shown the whole process, but, but anyway, that did go to the veteran side, so I'm going to... Once again, guys, these are in sleeves, so I am not marking on your card. I am marking on the little disposable sleeve, but that means this one goes to the Cowboys for Des Bryant. This one will go to Von Miller for the Broncos. This one to J.J. Watt for the Texans. This one, Adrian Peterson to the Saints. So that's how those are going to be distributed. Next up is this fans of the game, Chris Berman to 149. I've got to give that away by random because there is uh, no team designated on there. So I'm just going to copy all of the list of 32 NFL teams and then we're going to paste them over here into random. And this one, because there are 32 items in here, I don't see any reason to do this uh, multiple times. We're just going to do it once. I'm going to scroll through here. You can see all of our teams did get cut and pasted. And random one time gives us to the Patriots. So this little Chris Berman fans of the game card is awarded to the Patriots by way of random.org. So that's how that one's going. That then brings us to 150 Panini Rewards Points. And we're going to have to do the same thing, other than it's, it's still on my clipboard, so I don't have to take you back to the spreadsheet. We just have to get to a clean random sheet and drop it all in here again. And same as before, I'm going to paste all 32 teams. We will hit random one time, and whatever team ends up on the top, we'll take those card, take that home, that card home, and that comes up as the Saints. So the 150 rewards points go into the Saints. That replaced one of our hits in a hot box, which then brings us to our recap. And for anybody who might not be sticking around for the recap, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate all of you very much uh, breaking with me, bidding with me, keeping me company in chat and all that stuff. Hopefully I will see you again. We got a lot more football this week, including uh, a few contenders breaks and 
Hopefully I'll be able to round us up another case of optic as well, and we'll be breaking that soon too, if I can uh, locate one tomorrow. In the meanwhile, uh, let me get all of, uh, just getting the sleeves out of my way here, and then we're going to recap this. If you missed me saying it earlier, I do expect that most of this stuff is going to get out the door on Wednesday could a little bit slide into Thursday, but I expect most on Wednesday. Nice little Ezekiel Elliott to 20 Elite Series, which uh, uh, the owner of, of the Cowboys happened to be online for the live break and asked for that in a one-touch, so we got that taken care of. For the Kansas City Chiefs, a nice little Kareem Hunt autograph numbered to 99 in the rated Rookie Hollow. Mitch Trubisky, really nice patch there. Sticker auto and numbered to 20. Good hit for the Bears. Chad Kelly for the Broncos. Gerard Davis to 50 for the Lions. Carlos Henderson, Broncos. Stacy Coley, Vikings. Elijah Hood, Raiders. Chris Warmly to 75 for the Ravens. Boom, our little one of one. Kurt Warner autograph. That is just a seriously nice card for the Rams. Our little uh, Hall of Fame one of one hit. I really like that card. This was a good case, guys. Jabril Peppers for the Browns. Brad Kaya to 99 for the Lions. Pirine to 10 for the Redskins. Mac Hollins to 50 for the Eagles. Jeremy Sprinkle for the Skins. Chad Kelly again. Tredavious White to 50 for the Buffalo Bills. And Deonta Foreman to 99 for the Texans. So once again here before I completely sign off for the night, just in case somebody watched only the recap of this and you haven't, uh, you haven't watched the rest of it and you're interested, I will throw up here one last little time, a quick glance at uh, what we've got coming up this week. This is stuff that is already scheduled on eBay, and I will update this uh, course every night and try to show it a couple of times. So we've got contenders tomorrow night, and then you see later in the week some absolute basketball, some more Bowman's Best, some playbook, and black gold, some autograph memorabilia, little prism basketball, all kinds of other fun stuff there. And that was my fault why I went to a black screen. Sorry. <laughs> and then finally, if you happen to have any interest in it, there is what our uh, list currently looks like for the 4 case 32 box 2017-18 totally certified basketball break. Not a whole lot of teams left. If you do want one, please let me know by way of eBay messages. If not, those are going to be listed on eBay probably within the next 24 hours as one day buy it now or best offer kind of listings and so that is it for tonight uh, as always thank you so much happy new year to everybody and uh sorry we've all got to go back to work tomorrow but i will see you again the next time bye bye